All right, we're gonna talk about hydration. I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times for your coaches, but I'm gonna explain to you why you actually should and the detriments that can happen if you don't. Now, all of you care about your performance, right? Whether it be on the field, in the gym, how you look, how you feel, hydration is the key to all of that. Studies have shown that simply a 1% loss in hydration can affect your performance up to 5%. So I don't know about you, but 5%, especially when you're trying to be that elite athlete, is a lot of percent to give up simply by not staying hydrated throughout the day. Now the standard measurement, we wanna be looking to get about a gallon uh, roughly for each day. Now when you're going to the bathroom, we want it to be pretty clear. If it's not clear, that simply means you need to drink more water. So fact, some factors that can affect your hydration levels and things we need to consider is how much body weight you've lost during say a training session. So. You know, say if you're normally walking around, so I walk around about 240 pounds, if I get done with the training session and I'm floating around 235, 236, I need to basically double the amount of water that I drink because that is purely uh, water that I have lost. So I've lost four pounds of water. That means I need to consume twice that to get it back. Other things that can affect how much water you should be drinking in the day, your heat, your environment. If it's super hot out, your body is naturally going to get uh, a little bit drier, you're gonna lose a lot more fluids just from the sweating that you're gonna do in the environment is gonna pull some of that hydration out of your body. And the last thing that's gonna affect uh, your hydration levels is your diet and the, your mineral level intake. So if you're getting enough sodium, potassium in these electrolytes in your diet, and if you're not, you're gonna always constantly just feel thirsty and thirsty and thirsty like you can never quench your thirst. So if you care about your performance, make sure you stay hydrated pre training, pre-competition, post-training as well. Make sure you're staying hydrated and I'll see you guys in the next video.